Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be preparing for Vlogmas. I am participating in Vlogmas this year, or at least I'm going to try to. I have videos planned out for the whole month of December, so actually doing them is going to be the challenge, but we're going to try our best. I have to run some errands, have to eat some decorations for the month, I have to get the tree out, do all that stuff, I have to do some groceries, I have to get another battery for this camera because I cannot go a whole month with one battery. That's just not gonna work. So we have some things to do today. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth, wash my face, do all that stuff, and then I'm gonna go get some breakfast with my sister, and then we're gonna run some errands and prepare for breakfast. Target has these cute little pillows and they're only $10 and I think I'm going to pick up a few for the couch and I might get some for my room just because they're so cute so I'm going to see which ones I want to get even though they really just say Merry Christmas and then, then we're going to go to the dollar store just to get some more decorations. Okay guys so now we are looking at the games and the first game that we had to pick up was Taboo. If you've never played this game, you need to go get it. It's at Target. Literally so fun. Also looking at other games. Um, I'm not sure which games we're going to get. We already have Jenga. We have Uno. We have, we have I'm Taboo. I'm trying to think of what Uno game to get. Now we're also looking at Uno cards. I think we already have Uno. No, I looked. We didn't have any. Okay, so we need we Uno. We only need regular. No, I don't think we need. That's okay. Because we be cheating that anyway, no, so. Really. No one even knows how to play. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> And there's also this game called Black Card Revoke. Yeah, it says a laugh out loud, sing it like you mean it, must have game for people who love black people and black culture. And I get my black code revoked on a daily, so we might get this game too, but not sure. And then my sister ended up picking Never Have I Ever. One says Never Have I Ever Taken Naked Selfies. <laughs> so these are the games that we have. Taboo, Never Have I Ever, and then we bought Uno. Okay, so the very first thing that I need to do is call Best Buy and see if they have a Canon g 7 x Mark II battery because that's the camera that I have. Um, I looked online, I looked literally everywhere, Target, Walmart, it seems that Walmart has them, but when I went to Walmart like a week ago, they didn't have any batteries. So I'm going to see if I can call Best Buy and see if they have any batteries because I literally cannot find any online. Thanks for calling Best Buy. Our national phone operators are ready and willing to assist you. If you know the extension you want, just press the pound key. Otherwise, what can I help you with? Associate? Please tell me a little more about what you need help with. A camera battery. Sure. Just a minute. They kept me on hold for way too long and I was not waiting for that so I went to the Ken website and I think I found it and uh, this is what the battery that looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this battery it is $47 but I don't want to go through vlogmas using one battery and in the middle of vlogging and my battery dies so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this really quickly and then I'm going to show you guys how I make my intro and my outro for Vlogmas of 2021. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this really quick and I'll be right back with you guys. 
Okay, so what I did was I went to Canva.com and then I clicked on the button that says create new design and then you click on YouTube channel art or you type in YouTube channel art and you click on that button and it'll bring you to the swipe page right here. So what I did for mine was I went to uploads and then I clicked on upload media. So what I did was I took this picture right here and then this picture right here and I added them both into canva so what i have are this picture and this picture for the beginning of my intro and then i duplicated the picture on the left and i copy and pasted it so that i would have the picture twice and that picture in the middle and what i did was i changed the background color so i kind of just clicked the back and then you click this colored button right here next to animate and then i kind of just found the color that i wanted to use so i just went ahead and i clicked on this pink button right here and i kind of just played around with how light or how dark i wanted it so about right there works good for me so i'm gonna go ahead and choose that color you can choose literally whatever color you want it honestly does not matter but i'm gonna go ahead and resize the pictures to kind of fit all the way into the background and then what i did was i went to text option and i clicked on glow and then i went ahead and i deleted that and typed my name so gabriella simone and then I kind of just resized it to how I want it to be. So for Gabrielle Simone, I'm going to go ahead and change that size to be 200. And then I moved it down to the middle of the page. And then I kind of just resized it from there, just however I wanted it to be. So Gabrielle Simone right there. And then what I did was I clicked on add a heading. I went ahead and I deleted add a heading and then I typed in Gabriella Simone again and then what I did was I changed the color of that to be white and then I also changed the font and it's called John I believe or something I typed in J-O and it's the first one that comes up I don't know what that says I think it might say justice honestly I couldn't tell you but it's the first one that pops up when you type in J-O and then I just went ahead and I resized Gabriella Simone and then I went ahead and I changed the size to be 204 and then I just put it over the first Gabriella Simone over the glow and then I kind of put like two spaces in between Gabriella Simone and I kind of just like resized it to be smaller and fit over Gabriella Simone as best as I could. So now in order to make that animation look, I clicked on all of the pictures and then I click animate. And then what I did was I did fade for mine. For all of the pictures, I did fade. And then for Gabriella Simone, I did block for both of them. So that's what it looks like. You can click the play button and that's what that page looks like. And then I went ahead and I clicked add page and it shows up as the same background color that you had in your first page. So it's going to be pink. So you can just go to Google and type in iPhone transparent background and, and it'll pop up with a multitude of transparent backgrounds. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the first one and then I'm going to click copy image and then bring it back to Canva and click paste and it should show up as transparent. And then I used a screen recording of my Instagram. So I went back to uploads, click upload media and you can import that screen recording, but I already have mine uploaded. And then I clicked on that screen recording and I kind of just resized it to the shape of the iPhone. As best as I could and then you'll have your screen recording playing and then what I did because I didn't want my intro to be obviously 31 seconds I clicked on the scissors button right here and then I just moved it down to about 9 or 10 seconds 
click done and then it'll keep the nine seconds of the first nine seconds of your screen recording and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click text and then click add heading and then what I put was keep up with me and then I added a heart that I had saved in my notes so I just copy and pasted that and then I just moved it to wherever I wanted it to be so I did like right above the iPhone and then I changed the font to be the same one that I typed in when I did my name so I went back to that one and that's what it looks like so what I did was I added in the transparent logos of all the social medias that I wanted to put on this page I did Instagram first snapchat second and then Twitter third and then what I did was I went back to text added in a heading and then I just went ahead and I animated all of these. So I just clicked animate and then I did block for all of them. So that's what it looks like. And then you can go ahead and play it and it'll show you exactly how your intro looks. And then what I did was I downloaded that exact intro and then I went ahead and I went into Video Leap and then I added in a green screen of a snowflake background and then added in the Santa Tell Me instrumental to have that as my background music and that is how I created my intro. And then for my outro I literally just took a purple picture, added in the same snowflake background that I did for my intro on my outro and just added that in at the end of my video and that's how I made my outro. Okay, hey guys, so I'm back from getting off of work. Um, it's currently 5.35, I got off work at 4.30. But right now I'm just sitting at my desk and I'm about to go ahead and put in a Google Calendar every video that I want to plan, film, and upload each day in Google Calendar because I'm a visual learner and I'm someone who if I don't have something planned out in front of me I will either forget or I won't do it just because I need to see things straight on in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the videos that I have right here in this notebook. So I'm going to put them in the calendar on the days that I want to film them and the days I want to upload them. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that looks like after I finish. But I need to see this planned out because this being in the notebook is stressing me out completely. Okay, so I went ahead and I started typing in the videos that I wanted to film on certain days and upload on certain days. So like right here, I have some pre-filmed videos already. So that's why you only see one video or one task up here. But on the other days, I have to film and upload like in this week. These days are empty because I still don't have videos that I want to film yet. So I'm still thinking about videos I could do for this week so if you guys have any ideas on what you guys want me to film or any videos that you guys want to see go ahead and comment down below and I will definitely do them for you guys but this is what my calendar looks like right now and I also like it because it shows up on my cell phone and my calendar um, as like the little dots underneath each number so like it tells me 